Cerebral palsy is one of the most common motor disabilities found in young children, with about 1 in 323 children being identified with this disability it can be hard for a family to cope, as raising a child is already a hard task. Although children with cerebral palsy can find it harder to move around and navigate their spaces, they are still children, and children need activity. Families rely on different tools that can help their child move around, and help them grow. One such tool is a walker. Walkers are very helpful to disabled people, as it helps support their weight, and it allows for easier movement. With this in mind, we wanted to design and create a well thought out walker that could be easily used by a family that has a child with cerebral palsy. We made sure to keep safety our number one priority, ensuring that any rough or sharp corners were rounded out to be a smooth surface. We also wanted to reduce pieces that young children could possibly choke on or pinch themselves on. And of course, we had to make sure that the design could support up to 35 pounds of weight, as we wouldn't want it to collapse when in use. Our design process had a couple of different iterations. We began by researching existing solutions, and used this basic frame as a foundation that we could then add on to. We began with the soft design, where we created a fully functional walker in SolidWorks that would be ready for manufacturing, made of durable materials like aluminum, and then we had the hard design, which was our physical prototype, and was built close to scale of our soft design, and was also built out of cardboard. The hard design allowed us to see how it looked in the real world, and also let us show other people what the finished product could look like after manufacturing. Unlike previous attempts, we found it much easier to first sketch a low fidelity design on paper, and then rebuild it as a high fidelity prototype in SolidWorks, and make any necessary adjustments before we built it in real life. This heavily streamlined the design process, and sped up every part of the project. We went through a couple iterations throughout the design process. We wanted to tweak the design enough to the point where we would end up with a final product that was well received. Our initial low fidelity design included a frame that had a trapezoid shape, spreading apart as it approached the wheels. The front two wheels were designed to swivel, which could allow the walker to easily navigate. And the back two wheels were just there to move forward, similar to a shopping cart. The frame also had handles at the very front to decrease the chance of hand slippage, and acted as a grippy surface to hold onto. At this point, there was no chair added to the design yet. After going back to the imagine stage of the design process to see what we could improve on, we noticed that the trapezoid shape of the frame would be a structural problem during manufacturing, and could pose a serious safety concern. And since safety was our number one priority for this project, we wanted to make any design changes that could improve the safety of the walker. So instead of making the frame a trapezoidal shape, we made it right angular so that the frame wouldn't collapse under load. We also thought of a design that could work well as a chair, and added that to the design. After we finished the low fidelity prototype, we moved into SolidWorks, where we would then convert the low fidelity prototype to a high fidelity prototype. From there, we could really see the design come to life, as we could now see it in 3D, and make changes to the design in a faster, more streamlined fashion. From here, we designed the frame, the wheels, the seat, and the handles. The frame was fairly easy, as from the very beginning, we strove for a model that would be easy to design, modify, and manufacture, and at the same time, would work as you would expect. We had some initial problems when we were smoothing out the edges with fillet, as the sketches were being modified it would no longer line up with the structural members that were already added in 3D. Despite these setbacks, we reworked the sketches so that everything would fall into place and would just work. Once we were happy with the frame, we moved on to the other pieces that would bring the entire design together. Next we moved on to the wheels. At this point, we decided it would be best to include all four wheels as swivel wheels to allow for better maneuverability and to keep manufacturing costs low, as having fewer parts requires less machinery for each individual part. 
The wheels were made from two parts, the wheel itself and the stem that would connect the wheel to the frame, and would also work as a very simple bearing. The wheel would have an aluminum design, and would have rubber treads where the wheel touched the ground. After we were happy with the wheel designs, we moved on to the chair. The chair was a very simple design, which not only made manufacturing easier, but also let the user place any cushion of their choice onto it, increasing comfortability. We decided that the chair would be a hanging system, where it would connect to the frame through straps and can be unattached and lowered to allow for easier walking. The holes that would connect the straps to the chair were strategically placed to ensure that the chair was stable when in and out of use. Tipping would not be an issue, and that helped with safety. We also rounded every edge of the chair, especially the edges that would touch the legs more, to eliminate chafing. The holes for the straps were also rounded to slow down the process of wear. Lastly, we worked on the hands. We wanted to ensure that anyone could comfortably use the handles, so we took the average hand width of a three-year-old child and added an inch to the design. We also made the ends of the handles a little thicker to ensure that the hands wouldn't slip off, which also added an extra layer of grippiness. The material we used would be a rubber-like material, cheap and comfortable. Once all the individual parts were made to scale, it was time to assemble everything. Once we added everything to the design, we noticed that some placements had to be changed, including the handles. We saw that the handles were unnaturally forward and wouldn't be comfortable to reach, leading to it being harder to support oneself. We moved them back to a more natural and intuitive location. Once we got everything assembled and felt the design was adequate, we converted everything to a drawing with dimensions and began the manufacturing process. Although the design from SolidWorks was a great design and could be created easily in an actual manufacturing scenario, we noticed that one of the constraints saying that we had to use basic craft materials would make the design a bit harder to build in real life. This resulted in some design cuts, as building a true representation of the SOLIDWORKS assembly would take a lot of time with the tools and materials we had. Although we had these setbacks, we felt that what was accomplished was still great. The overall design was made from cardboard and still got the idea across. The wheels no longer swiveled due to them being made from cardboard, but everything still worked in unison. Despite the use of cardboard, it could support the average weight of a three-year-old child, which is 35 pounds. While it can be hard for a family to raise a child with cerebral palsy, it can be made much easier with special tools such as a walker. There are many solutions out there, but most start at $250 and are very basic and don't come with many useful features. Due to one in 323 children being diagnosed with cerebral palsy, we wanted to design a walker that could easily be manufactured, is intuitive to use, and cheap to purchase. In future revisions, we would have wanted to add a few more features. We would have looked into adding a basket so it can be easier to store toys or other items, a cushion that would be directly implemented into the chair, making it much more comfortable, and brakes to the wheels so that it would be easier to navigate hills without risk of losing control, improving safety drastically. Without these changes though, we heavily believe this design would be a great pick for families that have a child that suffers from this disorder. And the environmentally friendly materials used would decrease his environmental footprint and make future revisions easier to produce.